In this video, I'm going to talk about service fee, convenience fee, service charge. It comes in many different names, and you can name it whatever you wish. So let me take you through the process of what is a service fee and how you can add a service fee and where you can find it on your Clover dashboard. So let's go ahead and just do a checkout. So I have an item in my cart. And during checkout, your customers, of course, get to choose what items they want to purchase. And then they, they are taken to the checkout page. And you'll notice something here called service fee. I give it the name service fee too. I just give that for test purposes so you can see how it looks like. And I'm going to show you how you can add your own service fee. So that fee is paid by the customer. And then what happens is you get to recoup that fee. So in other words, this coffee the customer is buying along with the tax and the service fee all comes back to you, right? So in other words, when you batch out the next day on your Clover device, this 621 is added with all your online order transactions, with, with all your in-store transactions, and you get a lump sum payout to your bank account by Clover. And the service fee is a way of adding additional charge for your online customers as a convenience. For example, on DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, customers typically pay a service fee. They have different names for it and you can use whatever name you wish. And I'm going to show you how you can add that. So as you can see, I have a five cent service fee. Of course, I can make that higher or lower or a percentage, but the idea is that you can do the same yourself. So I'm, I'm in the back end of the order online page. I press Clover orders. And then I press settings and then I press checkout settings. Okay. So as you can see here, I have something called service fee. Uh, see, this one does not have a service fee. So let me actually connect to the website and connect to a back end that does have a service fee, which is actually this one here. I was on the wrong back end. So I'm going to go back to this one here. I go to checkout settings and there we go. Service fee. That's where we got the five cents from. Okay. So, this service fee is applied to this service, to this online order page because the same account, same business. So if you have multiple locations, then you have to have a service fee for each location. So for example, you know how earlier I showed you this one? Uh, this is a different location. So this service fee won't get applied to this one because it's a different location. But this one here is the correct location right here. So just keep that in mind when you do add your service fee, have, if you have multiple locations, make sure you're added to each location. And the same goes on your Clover dashboard. See, I have here my Clover dashboard. One thing, a mistake most merchants make is they forget they have multiple locations. See, so you have all these locations. So make sure to choose the correct location where you want the service fee to be applied to. Okay. So with that being said, now let's say a month passes by and I'm like, wow, I got all these service fees. How much did I collect? So the way to find out is you go to orders, press line items, line items right here, and then type in the word you used, right? So what did I use here? I used the word service fee too, right? So you, you have to type in what you wrote here, right? So here's the name I use, service fee too, service fee too, okay? Because we're, look, we're, we're trying to find out how much did I collect as a service fee in the last whatever 30 days, 60 days, right? So in this example, I'm going to find out how much service fee did I collect in the last um, 90 days. So I went from July to October, 90 days. Remember, Clover allows you to go back to 90 days, okay? So if you need more than 90 days, then, then you, you won't be able to pull that up. But you can do last 30 days if you wish, last 30 days. But in this example, I want to do the last 90 days. So I have to click on the calendar and then go back a few months, July 19th. Okay. And then I'm going to type in service fee too, and then type in search. Okay. When I type in search, what happens is all the service fees that I collected on all these different days is popped up here. So, right. So <clears throat> in this case, I get all the numbers here um, and it did not give me a total service fee, but as you can see how much I collected. So let's go ahead and take a look at a, see if I can run a report here. So, um, okay, so you can export it uh, right here to Excel spreadsheet to get it added up. Um, so export summarize line item. Okay, so you wanna do, you wanna do one of these right here, export uh, individual line items from this page. And then Excel spreadsheet will be able to simply add it up for you, okay? And again, uh, to find the service fees, 
it's a custom item uh, and it's called service fee two. It's not a regular item, it's a custom item because the service fee it varies in pricing, okay? So keep that in mind. So when you do sign up for the smart online order and install the app on the Clover app market, uh, you can do a service fee, we can do it for you. Uh, this way your customer gets to pay for the online orders and you don't have to pay anything out of your pocket um, because they will pay for it and they will cover the expenses for you to run your online order. And if you want help with that, please call us, email us, and we can help you set that up. That way the, the uh, per order fee uh, is paid by the customer, not you. Okay, all right, that's how you find the service fee. If you have questions, uh, please do give us a call or email us. Thank you.